Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to transform this sad looking wooden dresser into something quite feminine and stunning. So stay tuned. This little dresser comes with a bit of a story and probably the final look that you'll see in this video is probably option B or C or D or even F because it had a mind of its own. It wanted to be beautiful and feminine and it was not what we tried to do first. This little dresser was actually given to me by a lovely customer of mine. She had found it and wanted to keep it for herself but uh, none of her daughters wanted it. She reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to transform it and do something with it so I quickly snatched it up. It was sitting around for months and then I finally put it in the shop and actually I got snatched up pretty quickly from our, our as is inventory by a customer and the first thing we tried to do was give it a nice raw wood look. Well, this dresser did not want that. I scraped and sanded and stripped and scraped and sanded and it just would not be even. I tried everything but realistically if you tried to paint wash this or stain it you're not going to get an even surface especially with a raw wood look so after some deliberation with my client we decided that we would try a two-tone look I didn't hear from her for a bit and then she decided she wanted it to be green so we kind of thought about some options in green and then she left it up to me and because some time had passed, I was working on other custom jobs, so I kind of left it and I kept thinking, well, I don't want to be the one picking the green because if my customer doesn't like it, I won't have time to repaint it and so forth. So it kind of sat around for a few more months. And the dresser just sat around and I kept looking at it and thinking, well, I, I just don't see it in green. I just don't think that's the right option but my customer wants a green so let's let's figure it out and then out of the blue i heard back from my customer and she said let's paint it pink she had seen the color damask by fusion mineral paint on a different dresser and wanted it pink and it was like a light bulb switched on and the dresser was happy and i got back to work so in the last little sequence you saw me sand it and that was because I had sanded it down to 80 grit and I needed to go through all of the grits back up to 220 in order to close the pores of the wood and get it ready for painting. So you saw me use my sander and I went 80, 120, 180, 225, 220 to get ready for priming and then I cleaned and removed all of the dust and it was time for Ben's Insta, which is my favorite primer under fusion mineral paint. This is a great product because not only it will even the surface but it will block in any tannins from the wood and seeing that this is a very porous and very old wood I knew that painting it in a lighter color would most likely risk it bleeding through. <music> Like to apply the primer with a roller I don't like to spray it because cleanup is a little bit complicated you need to use ammonia and so forth so I like to use a microfiber roller to apply it for the first time here I tried to use a dense foam roller because I've had quite a few customers ask me about it and I wanted to try it for myself well, I have to tell you, I really disliked this type of roller. For one, it soaked up so much of the primer, and then when I went to apply it, it just, you can see it just spilling everywhere, and it was, um, it was just a big mess. I really do not recommend using a foam roller to apply anything. I don't think it would apply the paint evenly. I don't think it would apply, it applied the, um, primer evenly I was just quite disappointed with the whole process and 
then basically after struggling for a bit with it, I just uh, decided to switch back to my microfiber rollers and just get the job done. You can see how it added a lot of texture and it was just a pain. I will definitely now know and not recommend it to any customer. I wouldn't have recommended it before because I hadn't used it, but now I know to totally not recommend it. And here I am switching back to my microfiber roller, which I absolutely love and it made the job so much easier and so much faster. I'm used to it, it was quick, it was easy, it was painless. two coats of primer regardless which one I'm using and I like to sand between coats and then sand before I apply paint I think the best thing to do is usually to leave the primer on overnight before you apply a top coat like paint this way all of the bonding and blocking properties of the primer will really activate it'll have time to sink in and do its job <music> It is finally time to paint after hours and hours of prep in multiple locations and at min multiple times it was finally time for to put a coat of paint on this dresser and call it done so I'm using a stunning color called damask by fusion mineral paint it's a beautiful dusty pink and I am quite impressed with it it's not a color I've ever used before myself so I was really glad that my customer picked it um, I've had a, quite a few questions about spraying so if you're interested in learning more let me know in the comments and I'll try to do a more detailed video on it you can see here the sprayer was kind of spitting so I added a little bit of water to the paint just to um, make it a little bit easier on the spray gun There will be a detailed list of everything that I use plus links in my description. A lot of the paint and products are from my website dovinaroshop.com and I really appreciate your support by purchasing from us. I have included a little discount code just in case you want to shop and we do ship to Canada and the US. <laughs> If you have learned a little something from this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, even just simply liking this uh, video does help a lot. It's a brand new channel and uh, I'm really excited of how well it's doing so far. So I'm really looking forward to creating more videos for you. Also feel free to comment below with any questions as well as um, any kind of suggestions for future videos. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know what you want to see. <music> I applied a total of two coats of paint to the dresser. I did sand in between like you saw me do. And I also applied two coats of clear coat to the dresser. And I just um, pretty much just mixed it straight into the hopper of my spray gun without cleaning it out so that my uh, top coat will be a little bit tinted and it was almost ready to go. <laughs> Here you go. This is a little preview of what we started out with months and months ago. A dark stained vintage dresser with a lot of potential. And then I spent hours and hours, days and days, sanding and scraping and stripping it only to paint it. And it actually now it's a stunning, feminine, beautiful dresser. What do you think? Damask is a great color. Let me know in the comments. Oh, 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 oh,